Welcome, everybody, to the College Football Prediction Show on the Grilling Crew Sports Network. Today, we're going to look at the Nebraska Cornhuskers traveling to Folsom Field in Boulder, Colorado, to take on the Colorado Buffaloes. Right now, Colorado is favored by two and a half to three points. But first, if you want to bet this game, make sure you check out BetMGM. Check the link in the description down below in the YouTube video. Best sports book out there for betting college football or the NFL. Follow us on Twitter at Grilling Truth. Make sure you go like, subscribe, hit the bell notification on YouTube, and follow us on Facebook. All right, guys, the biggest story in sports right now is probably Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, and his Colorado Buffaloes. And they will go to week two to play the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Nebraska lost the game on 13 to 10 to Minnesota. In a way they normally do. Everybody gets excited at Nebraska because you got a new head coach of Matt Rule. They come out, they lay an egg in game one, had a hard time stopping the run, had a hard time getting the run going. Colorado, on the other hand, goes and beats last year's number two team, TCU Horned Frogs, as 20 and a half point underdogs. They end up winning that game 45 to 42 behind Shadour Sanders' five touchdown passes. The unbelievable heroics of Travis Hunter, who played both ways, played over 120 plays. So the question is, is Colorado for real? When you look at TCU, I think TCU is a middle to pack Big 12 team this year at best. They lost eight starters, I think, to the NFL. They lost their starting quarterback to the NFL. So I'm not sure that TCU is really a great barometer. But I can tell you this, it's a great barometer for finding out that Colorado is better under Coach Prime than what they were last season. I know Coach Prime gets a lot of hate for the way he acts after he wins. But to each his own, if you want to shut him up, you got to beat him. If Nebraska is to shut him up, how will Nebraska win this game is the big question. Now, they might as not well, they might well not even show up, right? When I looked up the point spread to this game, I expected to see a double-digit underdog, but it's only three points. Now, Colorado is apparently on its way to winning the college football playoff. They have revolutionized the sport, and this Husker team collapsed late, 13-10 to 10 to Minnesota. Lost it all the fawning over Deion Sanders, and the team he has put together is how the defense was ripped to shreds in week one. Now, a lot of things can be true at once. Yeah, it was awesome. And yeah, TCU screwed up and gave the game away. Whatever. But 10 penalties, two awful turnovers, and a rough day for the defense overshadowed the big playability of the Horn. You can't have 10 penalties, two terrible turnovers. And when you look at it, the Horn Frogs ground game averaged over seven yards per rush. That's hard to ignore. Now, Nebraska didn't pound on the Gophers, but the defense was magnificent against the run. Quarterback Jeff Shims showed flashes of being the playmaker the team needs, but he also turned the ball over, which is something no team needs. So when you look at why Colorado will win, yeah, TCU screwed up that game, but Colorado, or Colorado also went and took it, and they did it by the force of mistakes. TCU made more mistakes than Colorado did. Now, no one screwed up worse in week one than Nebraska, just because of turnovers, the cost of the game. The Huskers managed to basically hack away a game that was a close game. They have a history of doing that over the last few years. The problem is transcendent coaching changes with four disastrous turnovers and a total defensive collapse late in that game for Nebraska. And that's a Nebraska defense that played great up until that late part of the game. Minnesota couldn't run, but when it absolutely had to, it worked its way down the field with a passing attack that is this side of that. I don't even know if you could call it average. Now, if Nebraska couldn't handle that gopher air show late, welcome to Shadura Sanders. And the high-octane Colorado passing game that accounted for 510 passing yards last last week. Now, Nebraska would be able to love to control this game, the clock, and the tempo. It might. I mean, Nebraska, if they can run the ball, Colorado had a hard time defending the run against TCU. They would have a chance. But the warp speed Buffalo's offense will strike in a hurry. No matter how well Nebraska runs the ball, Colorado's going to score. 
they're going to turn this into a firefight. Now, who wins the game? New Nebraska head coach Matt Rule will certainly pump up that nobody believes in a thing. And Sanders is all on betting any or belittling anyone who doesn't believe in what's happening with his program. So the question is, what do you believe? Do you believe that Nebraska will get physical enough to pound away, milk the clock, and keep Shador Sanders in that high-octane offense on the sidelines as much as possible? Or do you believe that what happened in Fort Worth is for real and the Buffaloes will be just that productive, sharp, and relentless all year? I would say this. What I'm going to believe in this game is I'm going to believe that the Colorado offense will score. They may stall a wee bit early for a while. And I believe that Nebraska will not be able to keep up the pace. I believe that Coach Prime has the better players for the moment. Nebraska does it. I believe Colorado wins this game somewhere in the 37 to 17 range. I think this is almost a lock. And I'm going to take Colorado minus the two and a half points. I'm going to go to bed MGM and I'm going to hammer that all day long. But I will tell you this, if you're a Nebraska Gordon Husker fan, I think Matt Rule is a very good college football coach. I think he will get this turned around. And I think the best way to compare these two coaches is to wait five years from now and see what each one has done with their program. Because I think the pro, both programs are in good hands with these guys. Matt Rule will do a good job at Nebraska. Dion's already doing a nice job at Colorado. But on this game, guys, I'm going to go with Deion Sanders, mainly because of his son. Travis, he's got Travis Hunter, Shadur. I mean, they're going to be hard to stop offensively. I don't see Nebraska being able to keep up with them. Take Colorado, give the two and a half points. And I want to remind you guys, check out BetMGM for betting on all college football games this year as our top recommended site. Follow me at Grilling Truth. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification on YouTube. But for now, guys, this has been Mike Goodpaster. You've been watching and listening to The Grueling Truth, where the legends speak.